Hi, uh, so for a while people have been asking me to do a typing video uh, on the Harry Tear V2. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd uh, go through the layout a little bit and explain how it works for people that aren't familiar with these types of keyboards. Um, yeah, it's similar to Caracorder or uh, Svalbard where you have different directions um, rather than just pushing in a single key. Uh, each of these joysticks um, has basically four directions, five if you include the push direction, but it's a bit hard to press, so I don't use it for uh, very common, very uh, many common things. But um, this is the layout that I've started learning uh, about five months ago, so I'm not the fastest with it just yet, still working on that. Um, but uh, I generated this layout using um, a fork that I made uh, of this keyboard layout optimizer uh, and so I've added some extra enhancements to it uh, to uh, be able to take advantage of some of these these features of these directional keyboards which I've sort of started calling them um, so in uh, normal layouts uh, you often have like this idea of a role. So if you're going from like one letter to another, um, like STA, uh, it would look like that. Um, but yeah, another feature that these keyboards can take advantage of is a single finger roll. So for example, my layout generated ING on this finger here. So I can go ING, ING, like that. Um, yeah, so just a bit of an example on how, how it looks like when I'm typing. Yeah, so it's a big, big style of keyboard. Um, yeah, the travel distance is probably like less than like a, a couple of millimeters, I think. Um, it frees up a lot of room on the keyboard to put other things. So I've got like trackpads here at the moment. So I've got the left one for scrolling and the right one for moving around. Um, uh, you can also um, use combos for abbreviated words. So I have this abbreviation generator that generates abbreviations. Um, uh, so it works for QMK, ZMK, a few other ones. Um, but for example, you have you assign a trigger. Uh, so for me, my trigger, I've got it to do the delete word key. And so say if you press L on the trigger, it might output look. Uh, there might be another um, trigger for look, that sort of thing. And so for the ones that is generated for me, um, you can see, so if I press my Combo key and T, I get the, and then, and you have, um, that, uh, why your, and, um, and then I also have another one assigned for uppercase. So if I press the uppercase one of that, you get B, but with an uppercase will, um, they like that. Uh, and then also has like the, the past tenses of things as well. So, um, 
if you have a look at the, the gener generated output from this, you can see, for example, have has had, had, and having. So, um, yeah, having adding different combos uh, on the left side. So, I have, I uh, have, and then I can do has, have, uh, had, having. So yeah, there's like sort of different alternate versions. Um, and then so for me, I've assigned those to backspace, tab and delete for different um, yeah, alternation, alternate versions of that same word. Um, yeah, so I've been using it for, yeah, for about five months, mostly full time. Um, it's not bad. Um, there's some improvements that I've, I'd like to make, um, and so yeah, I've got ideas for version three as well. So yeah, uh, subscribe and um, I'll share some updates about that soon. Um, and yeah, I'll share some links about this keyboard as well in the details if you're interested. All right, thanks for listening.